God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Holy Spirit, Lord divine, come from heights of heaven and shine, come with blessed radiance bright. Come, O Father of the poor, come whose treasured gifts and Come, our hearts unfailing light. Of whom so as always as last, and our souls most welcome guest, sweet refreshment, sweet repose. In our labor rest most sweet, and coolness in the heat, consolation in our voice. Light most blessed shine with grace in our hearts most secret place. The Spirit breathes where He wills. You hear His voice, but do not know where He comes from or where He is going. Alleluia. Bless the Lord my soul. Lord God, how great You are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. Above the rains you build your dwelling. You make the clouds your chariot. You walk on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, and flashing fire your servants. You founded the earth on its base, to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The waters stood higher than the mountains. At your threat they took to flight. At the voice of your thunder they fled. They rose over the mountains and flowed down to the place which you had appointed. You set limits they might not pass, lest they return to cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. They give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Spirit breathes where he wills. 
You hear his voice, but do not know where he comes from or where he is going. Alleluia. Suddenly from the heavens there came the sound of a great wind. Alleluia. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs. That he may bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer man's heart, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord drink their fill, the cedars he planted on Lebanon. There the birds build their nests. On the treetop the stork has her home. The goats find a home on the mountains, and rabbits hide in the rocks. You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. When you spread the darkness, it is night, and all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey and ask their food from God. At the rising of the sun, they steal away and go to rest in their dens. Man goes out to his work to labor till evening falls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Suddenly from the heavens there, there came, came the, the sound, sound of, of a great wind. wind. Alleluia. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Alleluia. How many are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea, vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things great and small. The ships are moving there, and the monsters you made to play with. All of these look to you, to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. The mountains send forth smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord all my life. Make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Let sinners vanish from the earth, and the wicked exist no more. Bless the Lord, my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Send forth your spirit, and, and they, they shall, shall be created, created and, and you will renew the face of the earth. Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord has filled the whole world. Alleluia. He sustains all creation and knows every word that is spoken. Alleluia. From the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. Those who live according to the flesh are intent on the things of the flesh. Those who live according to the Spirit on those of the Spirit. The tendency of the flesh is toward death, but that of the Spirit toward life and peace. The flesh in its tendency is at enmity with God. It is not subject to God's law. Indeed, it cannot be. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. You are in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God 
dwells in you. If anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. If Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, while the Spirit lives because of justice. If the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead will bring your mortal bodies to life also through his Spirit dwelling in you. We are debtors, then, my brothers, but not to the flesh, so that we should live according to the flesh. If you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the evil deeds of the body, you will live. All who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. You did not receive a spirit of slavery leading you back into fear, but a spirit of adoption by which we cry out, Abba, that is, Father. The Spirit himself gives witness with our spirit that we are children of God. But if we are children, we are heirs as well, heirs of God, heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him, so as to be glorified with him. I consider the sufferings of the present to be as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed in us. Indeed, the whole created world eagerly awaits the revelation of the sons of God. Creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but by him who once subjected it, yet not without hope, because the world itself will be freed from its slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. Yes, we know that all creation groans and is in agony even until now. Not only that, but we ourselves, although we have the Spirit as first fruits, groan inwardly while we await the redemption of our bodies. In hope, we were saved. But hope is not hope if its object is seen. How is it possible for one to hope for what he sees? And hoping for what we cannot see means awaiting it with patient endurance. The Spirit, too, helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in speech. He who searches hearts knows what the Spirit means, for the Spirit intercedes for the saints as God himself wills. Since you are all children of God through your faith in Christ Jesus, God has sent into your hearts the Spirit of his Son, crying out, Abba, Father, Alleluia. The Lord has not given us a timid spirit, but a spirit of strength, of love, and of self-control. God has sent into your hearts the Spirit of his Son, crying out, Abba, Father, Alleluia. From the Treatise Against Heresies by St. Irenaeus, Bishop. When the Lord told his disciples to go and teach all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, he conferred on them the power 
of giving men new life in God. He had promised through the prophets that in these last days he would pour out his spirit on his servants and handmaids, and that they would prophesy. So when the Son of God became the Son of Man, the Spirit also descended upon him, becoming accustomed in this way to dwelling with the human race, to living in men, and to inhabiting God's creation. The Spirit accomplished the Father's will in men who had grown old in sin and gave them new life in Christ. Luke says that the Spirit came down on the disciples at Pentecost after the Lord's ascension with power to open the gates of life to all nations and to make known to them the new covenant. So it was that men of every language joined in singing one song of praise to God, and scattered tribes, restored to unity by the Spirit, were offered to the Father as the first fruits of all the nations. This was why the Lord had promised to send the Advocate. He was to prepare us as an offering to God. Like dry flour that cannot become one lump of dough, one loaf of bread, without moisture, we who are many could not become one in Christ Jesus without the water that comes down from heaven. And like parched ground, which yields no harvest unless it receives moisture, we who were once like a waterless tree could never have lived and borne fruit without this abundant rainfall from above. Through the baptism that liberates us from change and decay, we have become one in body. Through the Spirit, we have become one in soul. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and strength, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of God came down upon the Lord, and the Lord, in turn, gave this Spirit to his Church, sending the Advocate from heaven into all the world, into which, according to his own words, the devil too had been cast down like lightning. If we are not to be scorched and made unfruitful, we need the dew of God. Since we have our accuser, we need an advocate as well. And so the Lord, in his pity for man, who had fallen into the hands of brigands, having himself bound up his wounds and left for his care two coins bearing the royal image, entrusted him to the Holy Spirit. Now through the Spirit, the image and inscription of the Father and the Son have been given to us, and it is our duty to use the coin committed to our charge and make it yield a rich profit for the Lord. On the day of Pentecost, they had all gathered together in one place. Out of the heavens suddenly there came the sound of a great wind which filled the whole house. Alleluia! The disciples had gathered together in one room. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven. The sound of a great wind, which filled the whole house. Alleluia. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we, acclaim we acclaim you. You, you are, are the, the Eternal Father. Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, Cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory, we believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. 
Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. God our Father, let the Spirit you sent on your church to begin the teaching of the gospel continue to work in the world through the hearts of all who believe. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.